Like any city in the Netherlands, Delft has a very good cycling climate. We see people of all ages cycling on good cycling infrastructure. There are specific cycle bridges. There are underpasses, cycle streets and separated cycleways. Some of the infrastructure is a bit unusual. This protected bay where you can wait to safely reach a left-turning cycle lane is unique. These cycleways resembling a motorway are also unparalleled in the Netherlands. They are remnants of a city-wide cycling infrastructure experiment from the 1980s. In the 1970s the city of Delft worked on their cycleway scheme that was finished in 1979 and proudly presented in this film from 1987. The experiments in Tilburg and The Hague had made clear that one expensive route in a city could not strengthen cycling. Delft looked for a way to improve the entire city cycle network at a relatively low cost. One of their novel ideas was to identify three levels in the network. The urban network, used for longer trips and connecting to regional routes, with a mesh width of about 500 meters. The district network, used for trips within the city, to go shopping or to go to work and school. The mesh width was about 250 meters. The finest mesh, about 100 meters, was the neighborhood network, mainly used by children, to go to primary school within their own neighborhoods. The existing network had gaps. Routes were interrupted by roads, train tracks and canals. Already in 1974, the city had identified the missing links in the network that already existed for about 75%. The smallest interventions were needed in the neighborhood and district network. A shortcut in a park or a small bridge. Allowing counterflow cycling in one-way streets. Bus stop bypasses. And updating the phasing of traffic lights to make them especially safer for more vulnerable road users such as the elderly and children. Much larger and more expensive interventions were considered necessary in the urban network. Underpasses to cross main roads. Bridges. Or a combination of the two. Most of that infrastructure still exists today. These two underpasses to easily reach the then new expansion of Tanthof in the south of Delft have barely changed. Most of this infrastructure, such as bridges, was especially built in the mid-1980s. The Plantagebrug was built in 1985. These are the opening festivities. This cycle bridge is still a vital connection in the Delft cycle network. While some of Delft hasn't changed in the last 30 years, the railway zone has changed dramatically. The railway tracks were raised, but they are now in a tunnel. People now cycle on top of the railway tunnel in a completely transformed city. The entrance to the station parking is also totally different. Was the Delft experiment successful? Yes, it was, and it shows today. Although Delft already had a modal share of cycling of 38% before the cycle plan, the city was afraid that cycling would decline. Indeed, the modal share of the car was increasing. After most of the plan was implemented, a part was deliberately not to serve as a control area, the modal share of cycling had increased to 41% and the modal share of the private car had been stabilized. The growth of car use had been stopped and cycling had a future again. The lessons learned in Delft, how to increase cycling on a city level with relatively modest interventions, served as an example for many other cities in the Netherlands. The Delft cycle plan became a blueprint for many Dutch cities.